Hello everyone. Uh, in five minutes, it will be uh, three o'clock p.m. Manila time. I will enable the interpreter feature now. Interpreters, uh, just accept it when you are ready, and then we can do a sound check. Thank you. Ready? Uh, just doing a sound check, Father. We okay, still have four good. minutes before we start the formal program. Yep. Anyway, I am already here, okay. and uh, fuel, fuel is in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Father Francis, very good. Let me listen to Father Francis. Father Francis, can you say something? Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong channel. Okay, again. Veronica, very good. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, Father Francis. Thank you. Father Aaron, take. I listen to Father Julio. Father Julio. Father Julio, Julio, Dili, Timor Leste, please okay. speak out. Father Julio is okay. We can okay. hear him. Father yes, Henry, Father. how are you? No, uh, we're doing the sound check for the uh, language channels. So we still, uh, four uh, interpreters are not yet here, Father Vaslav. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if not okay. here, <laughs> they will miss uh, the beginning. Okay. It's okay. Uh, Miss Veronica, can you say something? Okay, I hear you very clearly. Thank you very much. Let's try Father Henry. Father Henry? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you very much, Father Henry. Okay. Father Noel is around? Uh, not yet. Not yet, as usual. Father Aaron? Father Aaron has to accept the interpreter ah, not yet. Okay. responsibility. He hasn't clicked OK yet. We need to respect the senior citizens, yes. So Jonas, when we start, you say something. Yes, Father. Uh, two minutes, Father. OK. Okay, Father, uh, we only have four interpreters now. Missing? Uh, yeah, if you want to start, no, uh, two more missing, Father Noel and okay. Father Aaron. Let's wait uh, two more minutes. Okay. You see on the screen uh, Mr. Sergio, who is with Brother Nam, right? He's waving your, his hand. So uh, yes, Father. Ready? Okay. Up for the for the question and answer after uh, good morning to all uh, here good morning very good very good good evening good evening <laughs> good afternoon 
for most of the participants is afternoon at the moment, yes. Yeah. Pacific is going already to the night, slowly. I know. Or they are already going to bed, slowly, slowly. And this one's the translator for Ah, Father Aaron is there. Wow, Father Aaron, welcome to the club. Okay. You are not the last, be happy. <laughs> okay, he is already in the Italian channel. I Very heard good. Father Aaron. So we go. So Father Noel is missing. Yeah, we can begin, Father, if you wish. Very good. So again, uh, good afternoon to most of the participants of the last session of this 12th Regional Congress of Asia and Oceania. This session is a special one, being the last session. So first we will on the screen follow the flow of the program of this last session. So we started yesterday. This morning was uh, concluded the most heavy session with many reports and beautiful sharings. And now we see we are 28 countries forming this beautiful region where lives the majority of humanity and many Bosconians, Don Bosco Pass peoples, Antigus alumnos, old boys, Salesians, Bosconians scattered in so many countries. So we are coming together in the name of Don Bosco. As you see, the Congress has a history and now we look already forward. 2020, we are supposed to be in Japan and uh, we are heading to the next Congress already after the conclusion, which will be declared in one hour time. Let's see what is uh, happening during this session. First, we will listen to the life story of Carlo Gastini, the first past pupil and the founder of the Association of Don Bosco Pass Pupils, thanks to one wonderful researcher from Spain who is together with us and waiting for your curiosity and questions. Before this Q&A session, we will have a virtual tour and then we have chance to ask Mr. Sergio anything we would like to know about Gastini, about the DNA of Don Bosco past pupils. After a synthesis, which will be shared by Father Joseph Fook, the Regional Council SDB for East Asia and Oceania, Mr. Rajas will declare the resolutions of this Congress, which we, have, we are already working for past two days. Mr. Nile Evangelista will deliver the message of gratitude. And after conclusions, we conclude the meeting on the YouTube and we break out in rooms for the last fraternal sharing discussion on two questions which help us to move forward. Well, it's already routine, but we know we are translating in six languages with English, uh, this Congress speaks seven languages, so please make sure that you are on the right channel if you are on the Zoom. We are grateful to our translators. They uh, had very hard work and hopefully uh, they are not yet super tired because this is the last, the best. Well, Carlo Gastini, 1833-1902. You see Mr. Sergio is director major holding the book, which uh, is a fruit of long uh, research. We will just briefly go through five slides. 
which you have in your hands. Please. It is in your folder. You can get it anytime. We are just flushing it. Unfolding the life of Gastini, please. We see the environment of Valdoco early days, very poor environment where Gastini was a pupil and then also a educator, please. Please. He was a book binder. That means the master of book binding shop. And this is the Valdoco area when he was alive. And we are grateful to Mr. Sergio to explain us how was born this uh, sentence, which is uh, maybe the like a life motto. Here we are all of Don Bosco, which is by Carlo Gastini. Well, we give the floor uh, to the pre-recorded video of 47 minutes. Father, I, I'll introduce, I will introduce him first. Okay, very good. Please uh, first uh, put on the big screen our two men. Duk Nam Guyen, the icon of Brother Nam. Brother, go ahead, please. Okay. So I am very glad to present to you, Mr. Sergio Rodriguez Lopez Ross. I met him face to face two days ago for the first time. And now I'm very happy to be with him here in the same computer. He is, he was the past pupil, or he is the past pupils of Barcelona, Saria and was born in 1970. He is an actively involved in the movement since 1998 and was the president of the regional federation of Spain, Savella province. And he has graduated as a doctorate in philosophy he worked in the Spanish Foreign Service for many years, and now he is the pro-rector of the Abad Oliva CEU University in Spain. He is also a member of the Spanish National Academy and consultant of the European Commission. Last but not least, he is also a researcher and writer and the first person to write a book about the founder of Don Bosco Past Peoples of Asso Association. And today he will tell us about this great man, Carlo Gastini. Sergio. Well, good, good, good evening to, good afternoon, sorry for all of you. And for our delegate was so kind with me, but they, I am also Sergio for you, so uh, past pupil, very proud of the education received. And um, my father was also pupil, so, so I am the son of a pupil, past pupil. And I help also my, my, my uh, a future past pupil. So uh, the third generations uh, with Don Bosco. And uh, guys, you, I think we must be very proud of the values of our education. So Don Bosco wanted to be here in the world. So giving support uh, one to each other, giving support to, to the generation work and giving uh, you know, a hand to all the youngsters in the world. So it is our mission. And uh, as you will see, our founder uh, was a, a magnificent person, was a, a person just like us. He, he was not a great scientist, not rich, not poor. He was a normal person with a great heart and was so thankful to Don Bosco because Don Bosco picked up him in the street, see, I will tell you. And uh, then he became his father. So in the great family of Badoco. So as a family, Salesian family, 
we must always remember to you know accept people to accompany people to give them a hand to give them values and that's to became a great family for for life for that life that never is not ending here in earth so we'll go on in paradise just like both don bosco said so i'm very happy to and i add at your complete disposal so enjoy your video message Hi to everyone here around the world. Uh, we are very happy to, to celebrate this 151 years of uh, Pas de Cupions because uh, it was supposed to be celebrated the last year, but as you all know, because of the pandemic, we uh, couldn't. So we are very happy to celebrate this year and uh, this uh, centenary uh, that gives back to the primer first oratorium. And well, in fact, gives us to our founder, to Carlo Castini. Uh, most of you perhaps uh, have heard about uh, you know, some pieces of the life of Carlo Castini, but uh, so far uh, there was not a biography. Uh, no one made the effort to go ahead and to know all the details of the life of Castini. In fact, it was not known um, practically except the, the things of the two herds, sort of cups of tea, and nothing more, more or less was known about him. So Gastini is, a, when you go to Gastini, you go to the herd of the Salesian family, all right? Because he was uh, one, the first um, who made an internship, who was within the first oratorium, you know, the first pupil of Fondo of Don Bosco, all right? The first pupil that was making life inside of Baldocco, because as you know, in Baldocco there were people living in their homes, all right, and going to the oratorium, to the to the feast oratorium, all right, to the daily oratorium, but uh, not living there. It was later, and the second that finally was the first was Castini, because there was a boy um, from the Valsesia. Uh, whose name was not known, so he's supposed not, not to pass many time there. But Castini stayed in Baldoco all his life. Well, but let me begin with some words of the first, of, of the most famous of all the past pupils. I'm referring to Pope Francis, right? He wrote a letter some years ago to the selections in Argentina in which he made an uh, expression of his travels, of uh, what he remembered from when he was a, a pupil of, of the Don Bosco home, of the Salesian home in, of Ramos Mejia in Argentina. So I would like to, to read uh, the text, uh, three, four lines, and you will uh, feel surely comfortable with this. He said, it is not uncommon for me to speak fondly about the Salesians. My family was spiritually naturally very close to the Salesians uh, at the Basilica of Mary Health for Christians in San Carlos in Buenos Aires. So we have a first element church, okay? And then I was at my grandmother's house. I went to the Oratory of San Francis Sales. So we have the second element, the car, the court, you know, the, the, the space uh, where people or, or making a job, uh, making football or uh, soccer, you know, all the things. So um, then, of course, I was a pupil of San Lorenzo, uh, who I am a supporter. We are, you know, the importance of the sport, of the theater in a Salesian home. And uh, finally, I went to the school of Ramos Mejia, in which the life, the boarding school was a whole, was a totally, all right? Um, I, it will create the awakening of conscience, zest of responsibility, and this is very important for us, and an origin of transcendence. All right? So we were educated in creativity, that salation is spontaneous character, and that optimism that is very common to us. And uh, I learned to pray every day to many help of Christians at that time. So this is the words of Pope Francis in which he said, you know, the parts of a Salesian home, you know, the, the classroom, you know, the church, 
you know, later the space where people can play, all right? And the elements of the celestial spirituality, you know, um, to be spontaneous, to be happy, uh, to, to be able to, to see an horizon of transcendence everywhere, and to be very committed with the people you have around you, all right? This was the words of Pope Francis. But let me go now to another person very close to us. I'm referring, of course, uh, uh, the Rector Major, Don Angel, um, who in the forewords to the book of the life of Cassini, he said, our world needs Don Bosco past pupils. This is very important. There, our specificity is precisely in our presence in the world in the most social diverse spheres, in the family, and the work environment, in culture and in politics. The field of action, you know, or field of action, as Umbosco wanted, is a strengthening of fraternal bonds, all right? But not close to be closing ourselves, but to be stronger, okay, to be more significant in our world. Uh, being witness of the values of the education received and uh, contributing to the construction of a better world and uh, later supporting the installation works in our common mission of helping the most needy people, especially the youngsters. I think this uh, word is a precious, uh, marvelous word. Words express and um, were placed in the installation family, all right, or mission. But let's go and you will see many things more important. Our president, uh, Michael Ort, uh, who is the past pupil of Sustin, uh, different schools, different homes that all you know, have you ever think about that we are not called the past pupils of the Salations, but the past pupils of Don Bosco? Because the different Salations we have met in our lives, all right, uh, they were assuming the role of Don Bosco, all right? So we have met Don Bosco through those Salations to, the, to whom we must be very thankful for our, our lives, all right? So, Michal, tell these words. Carlo Gastini is an example of how to follow Don Bosco. It was he who took the first steps of the past pupils and Don Bosco, he showed us a way of to be part of the Salation family. Gastini and his friends offered Don Bosco what they were, lay grateful in the world. So, what, can, what field of action is mostly the world, all right? But to be there, we have uh, training continues, we have to strong or lens between us, all right? And we have to be very practiced and very uh, focused, you know, in helping the installation homes and in helping uh, a part of us of helping those youngsters who are new past speakers, all right? And he's finishing with these words. Uh, our mission is to put for our knowledge and the skills as lay professionals as a service of the past peoples and the Shalashan family, fulfilling the motto of ours being good Christians and holy citizens, all right? So Don Bosco, he kept in mind the idea of the lay people who was uh, going out of the homes, and it was, he had an intuition a hundred and more years before the Second uh, Vatican Council, all right? And the, the, the role of the layman in the world. So that's what's very important. But let's go directly to the life of Carlo Gastini. Gastini was coming from the countryside, okay? You know, in the Europe, in the 19th century, when the first revolution, industrial revolution came, and there was, uh, you know, um, most of the people, for example, tried to think in, in Manchester, tried to think in, in Torino, uh, tried to think in Lyon, in France, tried to think, for example, in Barcelona, in Spain, um, with these new industries, there was needed many people to work there, right? And that provoked, uh, just like today, uh, many people who go to, from the countryside to the city, right? Uh, today, for example, we have uh, seen many people who are crossing the Mediterranean, who are crossing the border of Mexico to the United States to, to, feel, to you know, to, to pursue a dream, right? But as Castini was able to, to know, that was not truly a, a dream, all right? Because the conditions of living, the living conditions there in uh, Torino was, uh, were very difficult, you know? Uh, they left, his family left um, uh, Mon Casale Monferrato in the countryside. He, they moved to Torino 
where his father um, was um, employed as a policeman, all right, for the city council. And uh, her mother, um, they were in three, you know, his brother, Marco, uh, um, uh, Carlo Castini, and a sister, a little sister, all right. First, you know, he was very lucky because he was living in the more or less in the center, in the last part of the center, but not in the suburbs of, uh, you know, Torino constructed build up. Two great suburbs uh, were um, used in the force of the water. Uh, there was the, uh, the, the neighborhood of Baldoco, uh, very close to the river Dora, and the neighborhood of, of uh, Vanquilla, very close to the Po River, all right? So using the force of the water, they created big uh, industries where people were working for 12, 14, 16 hours per day in a very bad conditions for, for very few money. And most of them were at the end unemployment. You know, as happens today, they were fulfilling, you know, pursuing a dream and dream uh, came not true. And unfortunately, those people, for example, most of the fathers and the mothers, um, as they live in, in little uh, flats, okay, with very um, bad conditions of water, of air, um, they felt sick and many, many people uh, became orphans because their parents were dead. That was the case of Castini. Um, when the Bosco arrived to Torino in, in 1841, uh, the city was crowded. There were 10,000 uh, people, uh, you know, uh, pe boys without parent, you know, without mom, with a father, or both, without the, both of them. So where they were in the streets, um, as in for money, uh, some of them were instrumentalized and used to rob, right? And many of them uh, finally uh, were executed. So when Don Bosco began his mission in Torino, uh, he was with the Don Cafaso, assisting their uh, poor youngsters who were about to be executed in the Rondo della Forca, very close to the Torino, to the selection home of Badoco. Um, well, he moved to Don Bosco because he couldn't avoid to see himself in those boys coming from the countryside by going to Torino for different reasons. He wanted to be oppressed, to be ordinated, to be uh, have a religious, uh, religious life, to serve the, the people, okay, to serve the church. But those poor youngsters um, were like him, but in a different way. So uh, he began to think, I have to do something for them, I have to prevent them to arrive to those situations. And this is the origin of the Salation home of Adoko, this is the origin of the preventive system of Don Bosco. He went for all the streets, okay, trying to, uh, to look for those kids and say, well, you have nothing, I offer you a home, I offer you a family, I cannot offer you much food, but uh, all we have we will share, all right? And this is the way he met Gastini. Uh, Gastini, um, when he saw the uh, dead, he was an, um, a pupil uh, learning to, to cut the hair, okay? in a place where uh, Don Bosco was, uh, was giving mass every day, at the church of uh, San Francisco di Assisi, all right, in the center of uh, Torino. When he arrived, there is the famous uh, story of, uh, perhaps you, you know it, uh, he, um, he said, uh, the, the owner said, okay, I will cut your hair, and he, uh, Don Bosco said, no, no, thanks, many thanks for that, but I prefer that boy. Uh, he said, uh, be at take, pay, uh, pay attention, he's new, and he can kill you with the scissors. And it, anyway, he needs another opportunity. And uh, in that time, uh, Gastini was very uh, insured, so began to, you know, to make the barb, to cut the hair, and well, Don Bosco finishes with um, cuts and, uh, and, you know, blood, but his head, uh, the, the, the owner was so sorry, uh, uh, Don Bosco, I'm, I'm so sorry for that. And he, no, 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 no. He go to the, to the kid and said, um, how old are you? Uh, you, do your parents are, are alive? In, uh, he became to, to cry. He said, uh, my, my dad was um, has dead recently. And he said, okay, if you want, uh, to, tomorrow um, uh, tomorrow morning you can go to the auditorium, spend the other day playing with other kids and go back to the, your mom on the afternoon, all right? All right. 
and he was the uh, Gastini uh, said the word and he fulfilled the word. So he the next day he went to Badoku. Uh, he met many friends. He who went at home, but six months later he lost also her her sister's mother. So Gastini was. You know the landlord say, uh, "I'm so sorry for you, but you have to go home, uh, out of this home, and I don't mind if you go to the street." Okay. So one day, going back to Badoco, the Bosco met uh, Carlo Gastini in the Rondo della Morca. There was a tree, all right. There was Gastini and he, his uh, sister because his uh, brother was in the army, all right, in the war um, between you know uh, Russia, Crimea and who's the Piamonte was giving support. All right, and he were, they were lying and he said, don't worry, You're, from now on you will have a home. So he took with him Carlo, um, he led uh, the sister, you know, with a woman, a Bedo, you know, uh, whose uh, husband was the, uh, dead. Uh, later the, her, that woman also dead and the sister was um, was leaded was uh, was uh, go, was going to to, um, to a college in uh, Monferrato where unfortunately she died. So Carlo, uh, you know, became with you know the real family of Carlo was really Valdocco. In Valdocco there was Mama Margarita. Uh, there were all of the all the rest of the peoples, and um, by the day were changing, you know, arrived Buzzetti, uh, Tomatis, uh, those first generations of the past pupils, right? Uh, Buzzetti was uh, the, um, the head of a gangster's band, so uh, he was uh, what they will say in America Latina, Amara. Uh, so he, he was um, he was shooting to, uh, to people, but when he said he uh, Badoco, he saw the paradise. So peaceful relations, you know, uh, acknowledge, trust in everyone. Uh, some food, not many food, but some food, you know, and an horizon of trust and then, all right. And uh, little by little, uh, step by step, it was beginning to create this situation in which Badoco became a real home for them. Um, you know, it was in 1847, all right, uh, that became when the, he went to Badoc, it was in uh, of 1847, who was really the beginning of the life of Badoco itself. So we had the past pup the pupils uh, living out and the pupils living within. So uh, the first one was Carlo Castelli. And he was, he and Revillo, Felicia Revillo, would say the, they were so thankful to the Bosco that in a year, in a day like to the, to the, uh, in a day like those days we have been living, you know, the feast of Saint John, in the 34th of June, um, he and Revillo uh, were in secret uh, taking the few money they can earn, uh, giving services in the city, and they bought two herds to silver herds, and they went. Uh, hidden to Don Bosco room and said, knocked the door and said, here Don Bosco, we are very thankful to you. We are, uh, you are your um, our parent. Uh, this is our family. So here you are, two hearts of um, of C two silver hearts. Don Bosco was really moved because uh, that was very expensive um, because well, it was made by the famous, you know, Jira, uh, that served, for example, to the royal palace. So it were, was very expensive and that was really an effort, right? So um, they began, you know, if you see the, 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 the books, the memories of the oratory, you will find Gastini and his uh, friends, uh, you know, um, they, for example, uh, they appear in one of the dreams of Don Bosco, uh, the mysterious horse, right? Or they also began to appear in another dream of Don Bosco, those famous dreams, uh, premonitory dreams that Don Bosco had. But at the same time, for example, they said, for this soul, for example, a miracle. In uh, the 1st of November, you know, the feast of the people who was dead, uh, Don Bosco um, took the boys and they went to the cemetery of uh, Monumentale of Torino, the biggest cemetery. And after the prayers, they go back and they said, oh well, there will be food for everyone. And uh, when he arrived, Cafasso told him, 
but uh, sorry, Don Bosco, and there is very few food. We cannot, for all those kids, we cannot, no man, never mind on that, give me, give me. He took and he began, and the food was never finished. So Gastini was, with his eyes, was aware he could see this medical. In fact, in the process of beatification and then canonization of Don Bosco, uh, the testimony of Gastini was considered. Okay, that's very important for that. And um, we are in the 19, in 19, and you know, the, the two herds were uh, a gift for the two first years in the oratory. Um, in 1980, in, uh, one year later, in 18450, uh, Don Bosco um, saw that he was a very spontaneous person and he said, okay, I want you to take in charge the theater. All right, and this will be a thing he will do all his life. A part of his job, he was a big actor, you know, he's a comic actor, he had uh, different voices, he was very spontaneous, and we, he was so creative that he was only even, um, even able to write poems, to, you know, to rep represent and to improvise uh, even poems, right? So Gestini was uh, the way. Um, step by step, Don Bosco was beginning to create, you know, to have more people more helping them, uh, helping him as a priest uh, or as a religious, and he began to select those four uh, between all the people. He selected Gastini, Revillo, Buzzetti, Tomatis, and he began to um, teach them some, uh, you know, uh, lessons of uh, philosophy, some lessons of Italian, because they all is always speak in uh, Piemontese dialect, so different to the Italian standard. So the Bosco wanted, they were really form, uh, good manners, so uh, to send them to the seminary if a vocation was born in their hearts. And it happened, because, um, you know, uh, he proposed for them to be um, to be pressed. They say yes, Don Bosco, you can count uh, on us. And uh, in 1851, after two years of you know of training, uh, Gastini received the cassock and the uh, the two uh, February the, the second of 1851. With that, with a Revillo, Puzzetti, and Belia, they were the fourth. Big uh, friends, you know, the first generation of Adolfo. And, uh, you know, and he said, you will be the responsible in this whole of the future. Um, for being, you know, uh, the period, they were also seeing all the difficulties of Don Bosco. Remember, there were many people against Don Bosco because he was recovering those kids, okay? So people with money, people in the big industries, you don't like the, the work of Don Bosco, and also uh, do not take and do not forget that we were um, seeing, you know, the unification of Italy. So there are many people against the church, and he said that Don Bosco was gaining very, very, you know, well. Uh, the, the church was um, people was very thankful to the church because of the war of people of Don Bosco, you know. The, there was in, in Torino, uh, the generation said, known as the social saints of the church, you know, Saint Joseph and Cafaso, and, you know, all the, the San Luis Giorione, uh, obviously Don Bosco, who the first one. So they were very committed in the social sphere, um, sphere the dimension of the unification, the political unification, and the um, economic um, revolution, right? And uh, for example, in 1942, he begins in 98. He goes to downtown to receive uh, lectures of uh, oratoria, uh, of uh, philosophy, of uh, theology. He went to the seminary. Um, but sometimes, you know, um, he, uh, he left uh, at the end the, the studies of uh, was a priest, to go a priest. But it was not for him. It was, you know, he was very spontaneous, but he he had some difficulties by by uh, you know by uh, for, for talking, and at the time the canon code avoided people you know uh, with those difficulties to be to be religious or to be pressed. You no, know, there was the same case for example of Rubio, 
who one day who is shooting a, a gun, uh, the gun exploded and he left, uh, you know, he became without uh, a finger. And for that reason, he could not begin also ordinated, all right? So, but anyway, he, uh, he, he was Don Bosco, was his father, so he remained in the oratory since uh, uh, 1856, uh, in which he go out to uh, work um, outside in a printing home. Uh, but anyway, he was making life inside, outside. He was working outside, but uh, helping Don Bosco in that oratory. And it was like this um, until 1861 in which I was uh, written in the book, Today Gastini has gone to live outside. What was the reason? It's quite simple. He met his future wife, all right, who was from Benaria Reale, a village very close to Torino, where there was the royal camp uh, residence of the royal family, and was Giuseppa, Giuseppa Lora, and they formed a family, um, and they went to, to live at Costa Regina Margherita, uh, 176, so very close to Badoco's home. So he, he wanted to live outside, but always very close to Badoco. Remember, for example, that were the days of, uh, you know, the Grigio, the, the, the dog, mysterious dog, okay, uh, that appeared every, every time that the Bosco was in difficulty, all right? There was someone wanted to shoot him, or wanted to kill him, all right? So as you can be, you can see the lives of Don Bosco and Don Agostini are parallel, step by step, all right? So you can understand better the story of the congregation and also of the Salation family. Um, well, uh, he married uh, and he began to leave a bird just like me because uh, when he was an novitiate, um, a seminarist, uh, the canon law avoided to have birth. So uh, when he was not he began to leave the, his uh, bar. In fact, in the famous word where Don Bosco is confessing, uh, the, the, the future Don Albera, uh, the, the, the guy there praying at the same time with the birth is Gastini, a young Gastini, all right? When he was very young. He got married, he got married in the church of uh, Badoco, all right? Also everywhere, always within uh, Badoco. Um, well, in 1861, Don Bosco, Bosco opened the printing home. He was aware, he had a good intuition, that in the, the time of society, you know, what we today call the mass society, or the mass communication society, he was very aware that the construction of the public opinion will depend on the education and in the media. So he was educating, of course, but he wanted media. And Don Bosco created the printing home. The printing home was one of the leading ones because uh, the Moscow began to, to beg for money to the great families of, the, of Torino. They gave him the, okay, the, the count of him and he made one of the most consolidated and most important printing homes in Italy. Up to the point, for example, that they were, Gastini was gone, went to the uh, Universal World Exposition of 1889 in Barcelona to show the machines of, uh, of Adoco, all right? So this is what's very important. And uh, well, um, in that time, uh, he begins with, uh, you know, with the lecture, with the popular, uh, the thing, we have to think, you know, I want books very well done. Um, I want books in which things are um, explained, you know, told in a very simple language. Uh, despite profound, uh, deep things, but I want, uh, want books um, with you know different parts regularly appear, and uh, I want books with a lo lot of images because you want to conquer the simple people in the daily life, uh, just like today. With the, you know we have websites, we have TikTok, we have uh, Instagram, all right, Twitter. Uh, there was intuition, one of the intuitions of Don Bosco, right? To use the the mass media to conform the, the public opinion, because he said that it was against the church, so he went, we must be, make something. He took the model of uh, San Francisco of the Sales, right? And uh, he began to create those things, and he told Gastini, I want you, sorry, uh, I would like to have you here uh, as head of the, of the printing home. Again, he was uh, thinking, you know, um, Gastini at the same time has uh, made uh, really a, um, 
a good career in a pretty home. But uh, who is singing? Yeah, I must come and go back to Badoco. But um, one day in the in the media of Torino appeared the news: Don Bosco has gone to jail, and he go he left the job. He go there to uh, he went there to Badoco, and he said, "Okay, Don Bosco is uh, yes, yeah, okay, okay. I will never left you." So he left his job in the city, a very good job in the point of uh, the money. All right, he he earned less job, less money. But he uh, wanted, and you know, he will remain all his life uh, with Don Bosco, helping Don Bosco. Right? He was living very close, um, you know. Um, in three years, uh, late two years later, in 1863, uh, they have the, their single uh, daughter, all right, who was Feliza, who was known in Valdoco for uh, everyone as Felizina. In fact, I must tell you that Felizina was also the founder of the past pupils of the uh, Sister of Mary Help of Christians, of the FMA, all right? So all the family Castillo was involved in the past pupils. But uh, that goes step by step. So, um, Badoco at the same time was, you know, was being, getting bigger, you know, the, the Casa Filippi, uh, the new church, the reform, you know, and well, and that he was in charge of the theater and he was in charge at the same time of the printing home. So he was very present in the daily life. Gastini had a prediction from Don Bosco. He was very, um, you know, uh, very jo very happy person, but he trusted so, so much in Don Bosco that he said, Don Bosco, how many years are go am I going to live? and to live and he said you will be until the 70 and it happened he did the same day he was uh, accomplishing the 70 years so it was fantastic and all his life he said i'm so well i i'm calm because i know that i will be alive until 70 and it was like that and when his uh, you know uh, his uh, his wife uh, dead uh, he changed, he, he moved for home, from home and he left the, f the first home that was situated where later was the Sey, the, the building of the Sey, all right, of the printing house of the installations. And uh, he moved to Corso uh, Principe Eugenio II and with his uh, daughter. But um, you know, when, uh, he de see, uh, when the daughter was married uh, in 1893, he became alone at home. Uh, but very also very close always with the um, with the selection home of Badoco. At the end, we arrived to the death of Castini. So Castini was dead in 1902. But uh, you know he could able to be to see even uh, in uh, 1895 the born of his, his only nice who was Rosa, also known by Rosina for everyone, and uh, Rosina uh, was. Uh, working all her life in the same in the Salation pretty home uh, in Vadoco. And uh, well, in, 19, in 1897 he retired, all right, he was 64, he had um, worked so much, but he was all, always there, always with Don Bosco. And, but well, Don Bosco dead in 1888, so he was, yeah, moved for the death of uh, Don Bosco. And he, when he arrived to 1902, uh, Don Rua was going, he, he became sick. Don Rua was going there to see, well, Don Carlo, never mind, you will recover. And he said, no, I don't have nothing more to do in the earth. I want to go to heaven with Don Bosco because he told me once that I will live for 70 years. I am about to make 70 years and I will die. Okay, so Don Rua, thank you so much but I must, I have nothing more to do here in the end. And it was like that. He did, all right, in the, in the, in the, the same day he was, the, he was born, so in the 28th February, uh, 1902, uh, you know, all the rector major of the general councils of the installations of the communities in Badoco, of the pupils, of the, the past pupils, everyone was uh, with, uh, you know, in the, there was a big mass 
in the Basilica of Mary Health of Christians, and later they went to the cemetery uh, Monumentale of uh, Torino, where he was supported. Right? That was the life, the life of uh, Carlo Gastini. But there is a very important thing to be considered, the work of Carlo Gastini. Right? Well, we are seeing, we have saw the life of Gastini, but we have to go now to go to the third center of Gastini, you know, to us to the born, to the creation of the past peoples of Don Bosco. Uh, how it happened? Well, when Guerin Gassini was wo working in the uh, Rattori, but was living outside, right, with his wife and the family, and in 1870, that is 151 years, just like today, and to, to those days, he made, you know, he began to, to run the voice, he put even an announce in a, in a daily, uh, you know, in a, the courier of Torino, the, the, daily, the daily news, in which he'd say, okay guys, all the ones of you, of the readers, who were pupils of the first oratory, uh, shall we meet each other in a bar in a corner of uh, the Piazza Statuto number 22. Okay, we we'll have a cup of tea, we will discuss, all right. And well, he, they met each other and he began to see where Remember those days at the first, the most, you know, uh, grateful and uh, happy days of our life. So uh, why not to go to see the Bosco and, and tell him thank you? And that happened. Uh, they went to the Basilica of Mary Help Christian. They attended uh, mass and uh, later the mass, uh, he said, the Bosco, thank for the bottom of the heart for all the things you have done to us. We will never have a family, a work. Uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, Christians without your help. Uh, the Bosco was becoming to be mature, you know, when he was not the young Don Bosco they met. And Don Bosco was really moved once more, and he said, okay, let's make one thing. Today I have nothing to give to you, and I have no food for you, but uh, let's make, a, you know, an accord, a rich, rich an accord. Uh, from now on, we shall meet on the 24th of June, you come here, we will spend the day, and I will offer you a meal. And that happened like that, okay? That was the, the movement, the board of the movement of the past peoples of the Moscow that was really inspired by God, because then, you know, nothing said, no one said, uh, not Don Rinaldi, Don Rua, no one said, you have to meet the Moscow, and said, no, there was the spontaneous movement of their hearts, all right? So, um, when a, those began in well, 72, 72, 73. In 1874, uh, there were two different feasts. Okay, one for the layman uh, past pupils, one for the religious express past pupils. All right, it was in the June the 24th, and then in August the 25th. Uh, 20, you know, for the birthday of the Bosco. All right, and uh, it was like that, always with the same scheme. You know, uh, the mass and the lunch. And later they began to make, you know, a concert of music, a no theater, uh, you know, many things. Um, for example, in one of those meetings, it came the bishop from Argentina, later the first expedition of missionaries, uh, with uh, Cagliero, later Cardinal Cagliero. And there was an, uh, an Argentinian bishop, uh, one, of the, one of those days, and um, Gastini, as he was a very joke man, he began, uh, he took his head, he began, uh, money for Don Bosco, money for Don Bosco, money for Don Bosco, and the Argentinian gave him a coin, and he, the, he gave the coin to Don Bosco. He said, so, if I want to give a coin to Don Bosco, I will direct, do it directly, but that coin was for you. And he made, he said a famous phrase, he said, here nothing is from ours, everything is from Don Bosco. So we own everything, we are focused in Don Bosco. All right, he no, was not egoist, he was a person grateful and he was an oratory think and you know, everything for Sporto Mosco. It doesn't, you know, a simple uh, moment, no? but very illustrative of uh, the past pupils. So in 1876, uh, for the first time, the celebrations um, um, began to have also a mention of the past pupils who had death uh, during the year. So, well, Step by step, that meeting began to be, you know, stable. Uh, they organized, uh, you know, boards of the past pupils in which Gastini was a president. And, um, uh, well, he, in 18, 
77 appears in the first, you know, in the, in the chronic of the home, appears for the first time. Uh, we have uh, had today, we, today we had the, the visit of Gastini and the past pupils, all right? So the past pupils uh, begins for the first time. Uh, that I must say that, um, well, it's difficult to translate um, because they, no, they said not the past pupils, they said the old pupils because they wanted it to be considered as the oldest of the pupils, because he said, Gastini, we are pupils for all the life, so we are, are the oldest uh, compared with the youngsters, but we are old pupils, right? It was only by the time that the, the, the word past pupils became known, and we began to use it, but the, the, we must never forget this, all right? And, um, well, uh, they began to, in the cortile, in the, in the, the yard uh, in the Casa Binardi, they sang uh, songs to Don Bosco, music, you know, right? Don Bosco said always, uh, you know, uh, it's a speech to them, uh, being thankful and commenting the situation, uh, the economical, uh, church, you know, political, all right? And, um, well, most of them confessed with Don Bosco. Well, they said, they said always saw Don Bosco as the father, all right? And, um, uh, step by step, even the, the young pupils began to be involved, you know. But uh, happened that in 1888, Don Bosco dead. So there is a beautiful um, letter of Agostini with a broken heart, uh, you know, telling my dear colleagues, our oh, father is dead, um, we are really broken. But if he finishes, we must continue his work. So we, yeah, we cannot begin, no, remain crying. We must uh, do what he would like to do for, from us, you know, continue his work, all right? And uh, it happened like that. So um, they, as they were very thankful, they built up the first tomb of Don Bosco in Basalice, okay? And even it was made by the Castini family because they were famous sculptures in Torino. And uh, it was it's very beautiful. Once you go to Vasalice home, you will see the, the first of the um, of the tombs of the graves of uh, the Moscow. Um, but also they restored the home in which Don Bosco was born. All right, they went there with the nephew of Francesco Bosco, and uh, there is a photograph with it there. Uh, this is a lovely portrait of the they paid with all the money of all the past pupils the restoration of the home. And also, uh, he made, for example, um, he made a, an, you know, a little sculpture to take can be seen in the church of San Francesco di Assisi, the first in which the, the place in which the Don Bosco made the, the first mass. All right. So they began. They were the begin. The first who were beginning to make homages to make you know things for Don Bosco when he has that. And at the same time, you know, the, the creation, the, the Salvation Congregation has already created, the, the, the Sisters of Mary Help of Christians were created, the Salvation Cooperators were created, all right? But, uh, you know, uh, they have, um, they, uh, they was uh, seated in the Salvation Bulletino, in which, uh, you know, the association for the first times of the past pupils, all right? That was during the eighties. During that time, they also, um, as Don Rua was being, was seeing that they were being, yeah, they were becoming to be old. So he said, "Okay, Gastini, um, your uh, association, who was never written, but it was association by voice, not the were no institutes, um, unify your uh, your uh, your movement with the movement of the, of the people or the foreign." past pupils, not the interns, but the externs, all right? And that happened in 1894, and there are the first statutes, okay, of the past pupils of Don Bosco, in which everything is told, what I told you before, of links, of link, help of links uh, between them, uh, giving, you know, support to the selection uh, homes, and uh, giving help to the youngster, the young pupils, all right? But, you know, um, when the selections uh, make this, the restoration and all those things, um, they began, you know, um, 
to begin also to be aware that Cassini was also old and they began to make homages to Cassini also. Uh, two printings were made in homage to Guastini and some feasts in homage to Guastini so we were aware so uh, that Cassini was finishing also his life just like Don Bosco and uh, there are many photographs, lovely photographs of Cassini with Don Bosco and, uh, but there is one of the first you know, community with Gastini in the countryside, in the, in the court uh, of, uh, you know, of um, Badoco, that is really very beautiful portrait. And um, well, I would like to finish um, one with the letter, with the, with the speech that Don Bosco gave to them in 1888. It is so, so, you know, so deep that we can consider it, you know, the letter of missions of the past peoples of today. I should read it because um, it's perfect. So thanks to God, some of the pupils uh, wrote them because uh, the Bosco was improvising the, this, this speech, all right? Was, he said, um, well, if you have seen, I have sent the first expeditionary mission to America, all right? Uh, many of you can be a missionary, of course, and leave their homes and take place in this expedition, all right? Uh, but no, everyone is called to be a missionary, okay? What I want to you, so, uh, I want from you that you help you each other, okay? So, strong links between you. Secondly, I want you to continue training, you're receiving training, education, you know, continue training, uh, training for being strong and very able to act in society, all right? Just like I had to you. Um, try to honor the name you bear, the house where you were educated, the religion that kept you with, within it, and the association to which you belong. If you do so, there will be always, I will be always with you, as long as you live. And as the Salesian family feast, we will be able to create a big family that we will never finish here because it will continue in the paradise. So, and this is a, the, the, the final speech I wanted to you, but the, the thing that you want to hear with your hearts and give me an answer, I'm sure, for your home. So, and uh, he, Don Bosco, in the 4th of August, of 1878, we finish it by saying, do we give each other the word, the compromise from now on, that no one will broke this pact? Me, no, I'm sure you're not. So we will continue the past people's movement uh, with, you know, our fraternal links, helping the selection homes and helping all the young people around the world all those Gastini, Buzzetti, Rivillo, that today are young tourists, you know, from Mexico, from uh, Vietnam, from uh, Russia, from uh, China, from Africa, all right? And they always want support, they deserve a first opportunity, they, they, become, you have, they, they have the right to be persons in capital letters, okay? So thank you to you for your attention and keeping your heart to mind these words. Thank you and have a nice day. We give thanks for the beautiful sharing on the life and work of the first past people and founder of our association. Now, before we give chance to ask, to put some questions to Mr. Sergio and appreciate his talk, we have a short insight into the past people world in China province and in Vietnam. Please, during the video, prepare your questions for Mr. Sergio, who researched so long and so deep on Carlo Gastini, our first past people.
Well, we are here. Uh, on the chat, you can uh, put any question. Before we start the question, uh, we will have appreciation by the Regional Council for Asia and Oceania, Mr. Rajesh, please. Hey, Sergi, how are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm so, so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you and I want to thank you for your time and telling us what many of us did not know. At <laughs> your disposal, dear brother, go dispo at your disposal completely. Thank you so much and appreciate it. And I'm, I think the past pupils of this region are grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you thank so you, much. Sir. Thank you, brother. Thank, thank you, you, Rajesh. Now, uh, the first question was requested by Brother Nam. Please, we give chance to your world delegate. Yeah, he's just right here, so it's easy for ask him. So I'm just curious to know that how many languages the book was translated 
uh, I'm, I believe that the original language will be in Spanish. Yes. Okay, so so far, how many languages only translated? Well, the intention, the aim, as Rajas know all, is to, to spread this message all around the world. So we have begun with the Spanish, um, we are going uh, with now with the Italian that will be available in two weeks, and the English is almost finished, and it will be in, in a month. It will be in, also in English. The the aim is also to to make in Portuguese, and well, I think I have you know all the main languages in, in the world. Ah, there is one left. I know. I I mean. Coming from the point Sergi was saying, if there's anyone in Asia who can help translate into local language, oh, oh course, well, it's yeah. fantastic! That will be great help. That will be great help to Sergi and the cause of. Don Thank Moscow. you from the bottom of the heart because we'll be fantastic. The message, um, I must tell you that the, this book belongs to the World Confederation. The rights um, has been given to the World Confederation, so. Uh, the, the important thing is to spread the message, um, you know, of Gastinis and, and the, the origins of our movement. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. I mean, I, seriously, if anybody can help, uh, we'll appreciate that. And uh, let's see how we can do it. You can get in touch with me or the World Presidency or Brother Nam, anyone, and let us know what you want from us for you to do this. So, thank you so much. You want, thank you so much for that. So okay, welcome. we have already many translators looking for the word file in English. So in <laughs> East Asia, we translate not from Spanish or Italian, we translate from English. So we waiting for the wonderful file. Uh, put it into Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, Vietnamese, up to Tetum in Timor-Leste. I got one question from, uh, from Korea. It's very simple. Actually, it's quite amazing that the first past pupil was never highlighted for 150 years. So can you share, Sergio, with us, how did you start the research or why did you start this research? What was the first inspiration? Somebody pushed you or not? <laughs> good well, question. Very, very good question. Yeah? All the votes, all the points for the, the one who made the questions. So um, it was by chance uh, that once uh, working in uh, the World Confederation, uh, uh, we realized that we were the only group of the Salesian family who didn't have a biography of his founder. So it was nonsense. And uh, we began to research and research. And um, I think there is basically because the, um, the first generation of the oratory was uh, followed by the second with Domenico Savio, with Cayero, with Don Rua, and they become most famous later. And so the first generation of Gastini, Revillo, Buzzetti became, became less famous, but the work they done was so important that we were uh, committed to make the research. And we went to the, there was nothing almost. We find, the first step was to, to look in the central archive of the Salations, then to the Salations of Badoco, but then with the, military archives, the, the city council archives, you know, uh, all the councils, all the archives in, in Torino. And finally, it was just like, like a puzzle. You began to, all the pieces uh, are switching. So uh, it was nice to, 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 to rebuild uh, all the life. And even, and I will tell you at the last, uh, how could we contacted the family, because it is absolutely mm -hmm. incredible. Okay, so this is a story and history, and uh, now the founder has the book, okay. Uh, I believe uh, reading your text, uh, there is uh, slightly hinted that there was much of clericalism also in the Salesian family, so the lay people were a little bit forgotten, and I believe you are right, no? Very good. There is yeah. one question from India on the screen. I read it. It is good or advantageous that our ex-seminarians or ex salesians have their own alumni association or better be part of the worldwide association of past peoples, question mark. After all, Carlo Gastini was an ex-novice. 
Uh, yeah. Can we listen to Sergio or to Brother Nam and both one by one? Uh, it, it was the, you know, at the first, because we are talking about the, the 19th century. So there was a big division, all right? But um, nowadays, you know, later Don, Don Rinaldi want to make an unique, you know, to be joined, to be the past pupils of the, uh, you know, uh, priest, religious, layman, all together. So uh, different missions, okay, but all together. That was a decision of Don Rinaldi. I think he, he had a great idea because it is a nonsense to divide ourselves. Uh, we are all a great family. We are a big tree with many, uh, you know, pieces, but the, the, the same tree. So the, the past piece uh, must be, Don Rinaldi th thought that uh, they will be united in one as a, a movement. Very good. Brother, would you like to add something? No, I just would like to say that the past pupils will be the, the resource of other vocations in our Salesian family. Yes. Maybe the question was actually put in, in two, uh, two fold question because there is a good amount of former aspirants, pre novices, novices, thousands who maybe hesitate to join the past pupils. This is the other way, okay? And I believe to open the door or to tell them you are by any right, you have the home in the association. Maybe it's behind this question. I guess it's like that also, no? Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of people who has passed for our homes, but uh, active, uh, active people really involved. Uh, we are a lot of people, a, th a hundred thousand. So it's a huge amount of people. Yes. So uh, we have one question from Bangladesh, which is among the youngest presences in Asia. The first region entered Bangladesh just 13 years ago. So one of the past people is asking what kind of initiative we could take to wake up the sleeping past pupils. Very good. First sleeping all, giant. A, very good question. First of all, I must say to Kamanacho. So in in fact, uh, the, <laughs> so um, we must like Gastini uh, wanted. They said, okay, it's very nice. The first meetings to say uh, very nostalgic uh, to say, did you remember that salation was very important to us? Did you remember? Okay, that's good for the first meetings, but we cannot finish with this. Uh, the, uh, this is, a, you know, the, the finish, the objectives of a movement are to make things, not only to make mm, meetings where we, we are nostalgic. So this is the beginning, it's not the finish. So we have to, to have projects to help one each other, to help the Salesian uh, homes, and to help the youngsters in our Salesian homes. So we have to have here, you know, by rediscovering the life of Gostini, is that it's a message of going ahead, not to remain only in the nostalgia. So to have projects and go ahead. Okay, thank you. Brother Nam, would you add something? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the first reason for the past peoples uh, to come back to their old school, maybe because of their uh, feeling good to be uh, with the solution or they just miss the, 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 the sweet memory that they had in the past. But it's not really finished there. I agree with Sergio that uh, it's good maybe from, from time to time to go back to, to enjoy the annual event in the school, but, but we, they should take this occasion when they see many past peoples together, then they should give a very clear and uh, concrete action uh, right after that meeting. So that, that will not finish when they go home after that, but they should carry on with the things that they dedicate themselves to do. Okay, thank you. Uh, I believe uh, the, everybody is uh, probably meeting Carlo Gastini for the first time in this way. So maybe we are a little bit overwhelmed, so no many questions. Maybe already many messages arrived. It is ebook, it is online. So to get the book and share and take uh, the, uh, the treasures of your research. 
Yes, we are working. Uh, we are working in this in uh, the ebooks so as to avoid you know expenses of sending books. You know, you know, yeah. it's easier today. So we are working you know, only in this. Very good. Will be available. So uh, at the moment we have no more questions. We are very grateful to Sergio that he came the, all the way from Barcelona to Rome to mm -hmm. stay with us in person. He took uh, uh, the best day of the year with Director Major and <laughs> the General House community, and we are very very grateful for this gift, not only to the past peoples but to the whole Salesian family. Okay. The last founder was found. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's a very good highlight. The very last good. founder was found. Very good. Yeah. But thank you me, very much. Before finishing, yes. tell you an extraordinary thing. Because uh, when I went to Badoco and I asked to the oldest selections, I uh, yes, do you know the Gastini family, what happened with them? And no one knew, no one remembered nothing about the, the Gastini family. Well, what, there was one selection who was in charge of the hospitality, you know, in Badoco. And uh, in one of the travels, he told me, you will not believe me, but it became here a person uh, who wanted to make a, a meeting here in the rooms. And the, um, he was um, an NGO and, and he said, well, make me a good price because my wife is descendant of Cassini. And there was a story and they said, uh, well, Father, don't, don't, don't Rafael Gasol, don't Gasol, please okay. keep them the number. Yes, yes, I have the, the number of them, the email. Or, okay, tell me. Okay, yes, yes, um, I have in my, you know, in my table, but I will give you. Okay, um, two or three weeks, four weeks, and say, uh, sorry, don't Gasol, I need the, the email and the telephone. And yes, yes, I'm, I'm sure it is among the papers, but I don't, uh, I don't find it, but uh, be the calm, I will find it to you. So... Two, three months later, I said, please, I need to contact the Sydney family because uh, I want details. And I said, I cannot find the number and the, I cannot find the email. So I, I was saying, I'm sorry. I'm, so why, I, what can I do for you? And I said, well, I'm so sorry. Well, and uh, I made more travels to, to, to Badoko to search things. And uh, one year later, when I, was, I made the last travel, I have all the material to, to write, to begin to write. And I said, well, Father, really, I'm so sorry. The only thing I didn't have, it was the contact with the family. I'm so sorry for that. And uh, well, see, yes, but it happened that in the end. We were embracing, so uh, see you soon, all right? And the, the person in the reception say, Father, one moment, there is, a, it came a, a messenger and a parcel at the DHL with us, um, you know, uh, uh, with a, a parcel to you. And he said, okay, I'm going there. So I was walking in the street and he said, hey, come back, come back, come back. You, what, what happens? You, you, are, you won't believe it. Uh, one year later, that man sent uh, documents of the family to Don, for Don, uh, Don Gasol. Uh, and there, there was the email and there was the, the, the telephone number. So it is providentially, absolutely, it was uh, unbelievable. And uh, well, so happened like that. So the people uh, in the reception of Padoco was uh, laughing and tell, well, Don Bosco make this appeal, uh, small, you know, tricks here. Uh, we are, you about, we used to make those extraordinary things in Padoco. <laughs> so it was miracle, it was astonishing. Um, I was really very cool. impressed with that. Okay, so thank you very much. One last word, would you like to say, if we say Carlo Gastini, what would you say in one sentence? Well, Carlo Gastini, um, it is a question that, what are you disposed to, da, to do for the others? So everyone must answer this thing. And it is the, the last, it, it was the, the, what Don Bosco said in 1878, in a meeting with the past people said, uh, are we giving or compromise on each other that we have a mission? We will go up and help the other people. And we all, all the people said, yes. Am I sure I can hear from here, hear all your yes? Because we have, must, okay. we have to be significant in this world. Thank you very much. God bless you. And Thank hope you. to get ebook 
soon. Very good. Bye. -bye. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Muchas gracias. <laughs> gracias. Bye, dear brother. Okay, and now we go uh, to the synthesis of the Congress, which was uh, entrusted to Father Joseph Fook. Please put the slide on the screen. And also connect Father. Father Joseph Nguyen Fook is the General Counselor SDB for East Asia and Oceania region, leading from Vietnam. And he was listening these uh, two days to all sessions. And now we'll prepare some synthesis which we may, may be helpful for us as an inspiration how to digest and bring our uh, richness of this uh, Congress to our associations. Thank you, Father. Father, you I'm are just, still please. muted. Yeah. Father Fook, uh, your microphone. Not yet. Here, are you? Now it's OK. Hear? Perfect. Are you hearing me? Okay. Yes. And are you seeing the, uh, the screen? Yes. Please okay. go ahead. Synthesis is on the screen. OK. So dear Salesians Conference, dear Presidents and Secretaries of Past People and Federation Associations, at all levels, world, regional, national, provincial, past pupils and guests, I am happy and honored to make this synthesis before we end this wonderful online Congress. For me, personally, the best things we received in these two days somehow are the inspiration of the Holy Spirit given to my conference and past pupils. For example, uh, Signore, um, Mr. Sergio, efforts to write the books. It's not by the solutions. <laughs> you see, that is a, a, a very meaningful for me and for all solutions. In fact, after months of preparation under the animation, we began our online Congress with the beautiful song well known to all members of the family, Don Bosco Ritorna. Yes. Don Bosco returns to the hearts of each of us in these two days. Don Bosco mediates God's love to thousands and thousands of young people, in particular the poor ones. What makes us to be present in this Congress is the figure of Don Bosco. Don Bosco, the blessed man who listens to God's word. Blessed is the man who works in the righteousness. Today, Don Bosco returns in the person of Rector Major Father Angel Fernandez Altime. Don Bosco speaks to us on the past peoples in the world, in particular in this Congress. He reaffirms the great value of this Federation Association in the Salesian family as the arms of Don Bosco, bringing gospel values into the world wherever we are. He stresses that we need to promote this association among our young past pupils and assures that he, like Don Bosco, in heaven, he will always accompany us with his prayers and blessing. Then the World Federation President continues his, this appeal as he highlights the meaning of this year 150th anniversary of the foundation of this association. From his global points of view, he certifies that our past people associations in the world have lived this year full of difficulties with their solidarity of love. He invites us, the delegates and past people to implement common lines of action of the Federation with specific acts of solidarity, the coffee mug fundraising movement to celebrate the 150th anniversary. In his part, the Asian Regional Councilor for Ardent shared his words to us as a well-experienced brother with many years working in the association, stressing the importance of communication, 
showing us how necessary it is to collect the data of our past peoples and to reach out to them with various specific programs. After these guiding, inspiring words, we were brought back to Japan, the country where the 2012 Congress would have been held, but was canceled because of the pandemic. We witnessed the beauty of this country, which is rich of spirituality with religious sites. In particular, we were brought to the place where the first religious missionary, now a venerable Father Chimati, is resting. This figure echoes many first missionaries to our Asian countries. Thanks to their heroic dedication, Shalism charism has been shown in our beloved countries many years ago or just recently. In fact, through the video clip sharing from Sri Lanka, Timor-Leste, we were touched to see how Shalism past peoples become or became sites of hope and the incarnation of God's love to the poor in their countries. For conclusion of the first day, we were blessed with the Buona Notte, the good night talk given by Father Kanaga. We are touched by his teaching on the identity of the past peoples with different levels of belonging. But the most authentic membership opens for those who carry God's love to the others and unite themselves in the association, union makes strength. Today, the second day, we began with the beautiful moment of prayerful mindedness offered by our Thai past peoples. The message from the delegation, delegate for Surgeon family inspires our heart with hope. The beautiful trait we are witnessing in the person of our rector major in this difficult year. This hope is fired by the love in our hearts. As the brother Dominic Nam, our world delegate for past peoples expressed beautifully, this is the love that Saint Joseph received from the Heavenly Father, passing on to Jesus, his earthly son. Don Bosco has shown this fatherly love to his young, and this is now each of us has received and is about to share. He invites us not to wait until we have everything, then think of sharing, sharing now. And then watching the shared stories of past people's activities in different countries, we are encouraged profoundly that we are not alone. We are in the same boat in this world. We are traveling together, each one counts in the presence of God and in the world of today. Finally, I have two appeals. For my beloved Salesian Conference, the National or Provincial Delegates for Past Peoples and the Past Peoples. Dear Salesian Delegates, you are assigned by your superiors to take pastoral care of our dear past peoples. This is not one superfluous task, an extra one that you do in free time. The past pupils are members of our Salesian family by right. Indeed, the children in chapter 28 invites all Salesians to involve the laity to participate in our Salesian mission. Where are those lay people? The past pupils, they are the giant. On behalf of your provincial superior, please meet your Salesian delegates at the local level. And together with them, organize formation sessions, sharing best practices, and networking your activities in the countries. We expect that our provision chapters, the coming one, will implement this line of action in our provinces. And dear presidents, secretaries, and past peoples, we thank you, thank you very much for your dedication to the associations. The younger ones are your younger brothers and sisters. We are one family, care for them. As those who have walked into the world earlier than they, 
we thank you for your witness, your guidance, and your activities to assist them to be successful members of your society on this earth and in heaven. Thank you. Thank you, Father Joseph, for this beautiful synthesis, which will remain with us and will help us to bring together all the ideas, especially uh, for the Salesians who are entrusted with the beautiful task to journey together with the past pupils. Please now put the slide on the screen. Now uh, we ask the two counselors, one for the adults and one for the Jacks in uh, Asia Oceania region uh, to enter into the, this important time of declaration of the resolutions of the 12th Asia Oceania Congress. Can I start for that? Please put the text on the screen. Text on the screen. Yes, thank you. No, Father, before this, the other one, the message that I sent you. The message is on the bottom. That's my phone number? The last, okay, the, yes, this one. Okay. Uh, before we get into resolution, you know, I've been hearing a lot and there are a lot of emails that came to us and what we saw from the emails is that there is a problem how to start and what are the steps what are the next steps so for that i offer myself you can in this region everybody can note down my phone number send me a whatsapp and you will have a reply uh, we will try to solve all your problems and help you in any which way you want and i promise you immediate and prompt reply if there's something that world presidency needs to answer i will help coordinate that too so this is only for information you can note down my number again any help you want you're welcome okay now can i can you go up further please scroll up okay now before we get into resolution the other point is that uh, it's always not the responsibility of the delegate to start an association it's not the delegate is an animator. It's the responsibility of the past pupils. And the past pupils must show interest. The past pupils must go back to their local unions or units and uh, request the formation and take active interest so the delegate allows you formation. I mean, in many places, there are situations where you have one or two. I saw a report, very good report from Mongolia today. There were four, and I was very happy for... Mongolia being honest in saying that they have 12 today. Uh, uh, so from four, they could not, maybe from 12, they can, and uh, they can form a structure. And this is what I mean uh, exactly by saying that the past pupils should show interest, go up to the delegate, assure him, satisfy him, so that he allows you to form the association. So it's, it's, it's the responsibility, actually, of the past people. Okay. Uh, now, if we can get into the resolution, uh, which is we have uh, been receiving a lot of inputs from uh, all the federations and provinces of this region. Based on that, we came up with, the, with their thoughts and everything. We presented the... Uh, resolution draft yesterday, but today we have the final resolution after looking at you guys, after hearing your reports, after seeing the necessity and the needs. Can I request Neil to please read the resolution for us, my dear friend? Thank you, Mr. Gupta. Here is the resolution for this Congress, effective 2021 to 2025. First, we dream and work together that our SDB delegates 
take active interest in the promotion, animation, and accompaniment of the Don Bosco past pupils. They can help organize monthly meetings on a fixed date or day every month so that every, everyone remembers the date to start the Alumni Association. They should animate the past pupils regularly, which helps in formation towards the mission of Don Bosco. His personal lifelong formation is based on the past pupils of Don Bosco Delegates Handbook. Every youth that comes to a Salesian setting or house should feel at home, and that sensation to be part of the family should not be weakened. On the contrary, the belonging for when are away. The past pupils of Don Bosco are numerically the largest group among the 32 members of the Salesian family, but often the less known and less integrated group within the Salesian family. The recognition that without the others, the members of a particular group cannot be themselves ought to be an awareness cultivated by all, inspiring appropriate expressions and practical attitudes. Without others, we cannot be a brother or sister in Don Bosco. Number two. We encourage a better spread and knowledge of the World Confederation Statute as the guiding force behind the formation of the Past Pupils Association at the local, provincial, and national levels. They must be translated into main Asian languages and followed by all in principle. Every federation has a right to write their own statutes but they must follow the world statutes in spirit and then presented to the World Confederation for approval. Number three, we encourage and animate the start of the association of the Don Bosco past pupils at any level. The association can be started only with the approval and invitation of the SDB delegate. Hence, to begin with, the local unit SDB delegate invites the ex-students to form a Don Bosco Alumni Association. If there is more than one local unit in a province, then a provincial association can be formed. If there is more than one province in a country, a national association should be formed. If a country has one province, then provincial and national association office bearers can be the same persons. If a province has many countries, then any country can form a national association, keeping other principles in mind. Every association must register themselves with the superior body and national association must register with the World Association of Don Bosco Alumni. The world statutes can be a guiding factor for rules and regulations at every level. Number four, we foster networking within the members of association. We continue to collect data of ex-students at local unit level. A national database of members must be maintained the information that needs to be collected are name, contact details, such as address, address of residence or work, email address, phone number, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Area of work, immediate family members, position at work and department, own business or company or employment details. How can one help or what help he or she seeks from the association? Number five, we foster more systematic, creative, and prudent use of digital platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, WhatsApp, Line, etc. To connect with more past pupils, post your activities and for networking. However, take every precautions 
to avoid misuse of online platforms. Number six, we foster the formation of business clubs when we can help with employment for the needy and help grow businesses within past pupils. Lastly, we appoint in every association a vice president Jex. He or she will be the person responsible for Jex in every association. Jex must be given special attention and special programs must be organized for Jex. To give special attention to the Jex members have a very special position in our movement. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Nile. Okay. Rajesh, would you like to add uh, something to the uh, resolutions just, no, just shared? Just for explanation. The, you see the last sentence in the last point number seven, we have, uh, this is to explain everybody, that we have used the word he or she, which basically means that this is not a past people's association for male only. It's male and females. It's for everyone. It's for lay people. It's for everyone. And uh, normally when we have the resolution, we put it to vote, but uh, this uh, online Congress, we don't have a, such a system. So we will, again, I repeat that we took all the inputs of all the emails and messages we got. So this may please be treated as the resolution of the Congress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can we proceed with the slides? Uh, Father, I yes. think Niall has an announcement to make. Yeah, but can you put it on the screen and yes. remove the resolution? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Hello Nine again. Minutes. Thank you, Father. Hello again, everyone. So this was already mentioned by our World Confederation President, Michal Hort, yesterday. And um, he would just like to uh, give an emphasis. So again, uh, in a few months' time, on November 26 and 28, we will have the past pupil general assembly similar to our congress now it will be online as well so the general assembly is the highest body of the world confederation and it would really be nice to have uh, a lot of participants similar to our congress now so um according to them uh online um Application for uh, con uh, candidacy is already open. So uh, they are asking if right now we can uh, start identifying good candidates for Asia Oceania councillors. And if there are proposals or changes or amendments to the current statutes that we have, we can already uh, start formulating them so that it can be presented in the Congress. Um, similar to our mission in uh, this Congress, we, they would also like to have a maximum and wide participation of everyone. That's all. Thank you. Thank you um, very Mr. much. Mr. Gupta would like to say something. Yeah, I mean, just to add on to what, what you said was uh, uh, that the earlier slide. Please. You see, uh, the candidature is not open. Uh, you have to decide on who the candidates are and who are the best people who could be there uh, in the world presidency. So you need to do homework. And second is the, 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 the statutes of the world body. I mean, what I can do is uh, I can take help of uh, Brother Nam and Father Welkow to all, send you all the statute copies in Italian and English in case you, have, you can go through them and in case you have any suggestion to improve upon the statutes that can be the national presidents. I mean, you can work whichever way you want in your provinces or regions, but the national president or somebody responsible can send those amendments to the world body. You can do the national presidents, I repeat, the national committee can sit down. You might have 10 points. You can choose best two or three points and you can send it to the presidency, which the national council or the national committee feels are the most important points. 
which will help us to do the constitution well. So this is one exercise I request you to please do and let the world presidency have. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rajesh. Now we have a, a word of gratitude to all who contributed to this wonderful three sessions Congress online. I'm asking Mr. Nile to come on the floor. Hello. It has been said that gratitude is the memory of the heart. That's why as we end the 12th Asia Oceania Congress, we remember the special people who worked hard in making this Congress possible. First, allow me to thank our solutions who have been pushing and supporting for coming up with this Congress. We thank our Rector Major, Father Angel Fernandez Artime, for his support to the past pupils. We also thank Brother Dominic Nam, Father Joseph Fook, Father Joseph Manipadam, and Father Mario de Rosario Costa for their wonderful animation of the past pupils, especially in our region. Of course, we thank the very hardworking Father Vashlav Clement. Thank you for always being there, not just for the past pupils, but also for the whole Asia-Oceania region. We also thank our World Confederation President, Mr. Michal Hort, for his support to the Congress and to the past pupils. Our adult counselor in the region, Mr. Rajesh Gupta, thank you for your valuable input to the program of the Congress. Mr. Gupta, together with Brother Dominic, Father Vashlav, and Mr. Rajiv Tikmani worked together to come up with the resolution of our Congress. To our delegates, presidents, secretaries, JEX representatives, officers, active members, thank you for giving us your time in joining us in this Congress. We also extend our gratitude to Mr. Takashi Takayama and Mr. Sergio Rodriguez for their sharing in this Congress. Now, let's go back from the beginning. First, I would like to thank the past pupils of Japan for their support in creating this Congress. It must have been nice to gather last December 2020 in Japan for this Congress. The very hardworking Mitch Takeshi, Shihiro Oka Okawa, and the 20 Japan, 20 Japanese members of the JEX working team of the Japan Federation prepared a very beautiful program for us. Despite the physical Congress not pushing through, our Japanese friends have been very supportive since the beginning of the planning for this online Congress. The online Congress wouldn't be possible without the dedication and hard work of our technical team. We have a team which is based in three different locations. Sincerely, I wish to thank the technical, the Thai technical team, Monton, Eyakasit, Sinatip, Natawut, Punyawi, Puadon, and the Japanese technical team, Father Francis Okamoto and Brother Nao Takashita for making sure that we have our streaming channels for our past pupils who are following us on YouTube. Thank you also to the Philippine technical team, Sir Jonas, Sir John, Ace, Bjorn, and Thea for preparing, compiling, and editing all the materials that were used in the program. Thank you for your patience in accommodating even the last-minute changes and requests. Please sleep peacefully after this Congress. 
We have a global congress that caters to multiple languages. Thank you to our translators for making this possible. From Japan, Ms. Izumi Sakura, Ms. Taiko Veronica. From Vietnam, Father Francis Xavier Pan. From Indonesia, Father Noel Villaforte. From East Timor, Father Julio Mota. From South Korea, Father Henry Wu. And from Thailand, Father Aaron Alcaceva. Your hard work, patience, and excellent skills gave us the hands to reach out to as many past pupils as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you also to Dino and Mungu for helping us in the registration. Thank you to, bro to Brother Domingos Telepun, Father Noel Villaferte, Bjorn, and especially Thea for your work in the creatives and promotional materials. We have been blessed to have generous volunteers in this Congress. From registration to all the publication materials and posters that were produced. All these are products of the dedication of our volunteers. Dear volunteers and everyone who worked hard for this Congress, my sincerest gratitude to you. Your willingness to serve is indeed, is, is indeed inspiring. I have been asked, who is the host country for this Congress? My dear friends, I am proud to say that this Congress is a product of collaborative efforts among us in the Asia-Oceania region. This is our Congress, and this is our gift to the celebration of the 150 years of the past pupils. As past pupils of Don Bosco and friends of Don Bosco, let us continue to be moved by hope together. Once again, thank you very much and we hope to see each other face to face. Well, it was the heart-touching gratitude message, which uh, we will treasure for a long time. Everything is based on gratitude we share during these two days. Now, we may say the Congress is concluded on the YouTube, but of course, we still continue after the final prayer in our break groups. If you have the prayer and promise in your own language, you may take it with your translators. Jonas, can you lead us? Okay, Father. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The prayer and promise of the past pupils of Don Bosco. <clears throat> God, our Father, through the mediation of your Son, Jesus, and through the intercession of Saint John Bosco, give heed to the prayers of the past pupils all over the world. We thank you for the invaluable gift of education which we have received. <clears throat> under the enlightened guidance of the Salesians, which have instilled our lives with the Salesian spirituality. We ask you with familial trust, give us strength and courage to live the human and Christian message in society and in the church. Encourage us to become honest citizens and good Christians. Help us to live together and promote solidarity in our association and beyond it. Strengthen our faith, hope, and charity. We promise you 
to fight against injustice, blackmail, superficiality, indifference, and to defend at all costs the values inspired from Don Bosco's teaching, especially life, freedom, and truth, with a spirit of social, political, and financial commitment, and to be the salt of the earth and light of the world, with a strong influence in the world and in the church. We beg you to watch over our Salesian family, our dear ones and all of us. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint John Bosco, pray, pray for, for us. us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jonas. So now, probably with this moment, uh, we are ending the YouTube streaming. And we are coming together on the Zoom as yesterday. There is Father, last... maybe we can ask everyone. I put it in gallery mode. Just say goodbye to our, okay. <coughs> say wave uh, goodbye to our uh, YouTube audience <laughs> <laughs> before I uh, finally end the live streaming. So okay. thank you so much to our YouTube audience. <laughs> we hope to see you again during the online general assembly yes